Now it's time for another edition of Goofing Up Our Grammar with Government. Today's guest is Senator Cory Booker. During Senate Judicial Committee hearings, Cory Booker was heard to have said this. The highest office in the land for a lifetime appointment. We're rushing through this before me and my colleagues can even read and digest the information. Does Mr. Booker not think before he speaks? If Mr. Booker is going to set a good example for young black men in America, he needs to start speaking in a grammatically correct fashion. Yes, it is common lingo to use the phraseology, me and, but Mr. Booker is not common, is he? Why no, he's a sitting U.S. Senator. Here's why me and isn't correct. It seemingly sounds all right to say, for instance, me and my friend went to the store. Why should you really say, my friend and I went to the store? Because simply take out and my friend from the sentence. Would you really say, me went to the store? Only if you want to sound stupid. That's why it is wrong when Mr. Booker says, we are rushing through this information before me and my colleagues could even read and digest the information. Surely Mr. Booker wouldn't say, we are rushing through this information before me could even read and digest the information. We're rushing through this before me can even read and digest the information. Before me can even read and digest the information. Before me can even read and digest the information. No, he would say we are rushing through this information before I could even read and digest the information. Furthermore, and actually, Mr. Booker should really say we are rushing through this information before my colleagues and I can even read and digest it. It's not absolutely grammatically incorrect to repeat the word information. However, stylistically such banal repetition only serves to confuse and irritate the reader or listener. Mr. Brooker can certainly choose to take on a colloquial speech affectation when he's preaching to the choir or speechifying in the hood as other politicians have done. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far. But if he really wants to run for president, it will behoove him to speak grammatically correct when he addresses the nation.